college species zoologist. My job is to research the fascinating critters that roam this wide green earth. In my past travels, I have studied an array of animals found on college campuses, including theater geeks, gangsters, anime kids, and hipsters. Today we are going to dive into the underground life of this bustling university to discover one of the most versatile, common, complex, and resilient creatures, the frat boy. Get it, get it, you get it, get it, you got it good. My homies making them dollars in and around the hood. I'm hitting switches and parlors, dipping around on shiny dishes, attracting bitches. Listen to bases hitting good. I looks good from Marty Dolls all the way to tippy top of my freshly braided crop covered in the LA hood. Let's blow the wood. My herbal meds are smelling good. If it ain't California's pines, homie, it ain't no good. Let's cruise and hood for pretty girlies that want to cut. Reppin' they hoods to the death, baby girl, throw it up Hey, turn it up, this flippin' beat is just sick as f Speakers just beatin', but for beatin', I'm about to spill my For centuries, frat boys have made their mark on college campuses, leaving behind them a trail of beer cans, hazing, and roofies. Frat boys come in numerous shapes and sizes, but their most common appearance includes some variation on boating shoes, pastel shorts, unnecessarily expensive designer t-shirts, fleece vests, caps with curved brims, university-themed neck straps, and some apparel that displays Greek letters. All of these garments can be used as protection against predators, such as people who would like to be able to tell one frat boy apart from another. The frat boy species has experienced an intricate evolution with humble beginnings as an amoeba, which over time progressed into a primate, explaining some of the frat boy's ape-like thought processes. On a scale of one to America, how free are you tonight? Somewhere along its evolutionary timeline, the frat boy primate morphed into a crossbreed with characteristics similar to a viking, a guido, and a yuppie, resulting in our modern frat boy. I've spent a few weeks immersing myself in the mysterious frat boy culture, learning their environment and their ways. I've found that if you respect them for what they are and show confidence, it will be returned. However, even being in their normal setting for quite a while, I still don't approach them directly. It's a threat of aggression, and you have to let the frat boy come to you once they are comfortable. After that point, it can be really quite rewarding. It's quite amazing seeing them in their natural habitat. See how the frat boy stores for the winter months at university. Copious amounts of alcohol to put on layers of fat to stay warm, possibly unnecessary layers. Condoms, in hopes of copulating to spread the frat boy seed. And protein powder, to strengthen the frat boy's body and fragile ego. It cannot be denied that the frat boy is a complicated and mysterious creature. The species is well known for their binge drinking, mating attempts, predictable clothing choices, and a strong love of their fraternity. However, fraternities were founded on brotherhood, respect, philanthropy, and leadership, producing some of the world's foremost leaders. 85% of Fortune 500 executives are fraternity or sorority members. Since 1910, 85% of Supreme Court justices have been involved in a fraternity or a sorority. I have researched many a creature in my past studies, but never have I encountered one quite so fascinating as the frat boy. And I hope you, our viewers, have enjoyed this exploration. It really felt like a total frat move. You need shots for your movie? I got shots. Like the...